and we are. Hey everybody, the Big Dreamer. How you doing, Big Dreamer? Action Jackson here. Hey everybody, Mitch Jackson, Jackson Wilson. How you guys doing? Another beautiful Tuesday afternoon. Looks like it's going to rain here in Southern California, Ohio. What's going on? What's going on, Jeremy? Good to see you. We're going to talk about five things you can do to help knock the socks off your clients, to help impress your clients, to help earn long-term client loyalty. These are things that we've been doing in our law firm for the last, well, you know, we've been around for 30 years, probably the last 15, 20 years. Um, started slow, had to figure things out slowly at the very beginning. But um, these are things that we do, and I think the clients really appreciate it. They appreciate the extra, extra effort, and hopefully you can incorporate some of these ideas into what you're doing. If you like these five client tips, share them with your audience, incorporate them in your business or service. Hey, Steve, thanks for joining us. Appreciate the hearts. And share the show uh, with your family, friends, and uh, business acquaintances. My name's Mitch Jackson. I'm a senior partner here at Jackson Wilson. I've got streaminglawyer.com, and uh, that's where you can find the recorded version of this Periscope and prior Periscope uh, shows. So listen, the first thing we like to do is once we're retained by a client, we give them a special telephone number. We like to give a client priority access to the law firm and to the attorney. Depending on the type of case it is, once a client retains us, they then are given a special phone number. It's a back line here at the office that they can call to, uh, which will separate their incoming call from everyone else that contacts us. We get contacted a lot by a lot of potential clients, a lot of third parties, defense attorneys, insurance companies, things like that. This is a line that we know when it lights up, it's a client of ours, and that line gets priority status. On uh, some of our cases, on some of our cases, uh, and by the way, I'm gonna interact live with Periscope. Curious, how are you measuring Periscope value? Is this a lawyer firm? Uh, I measure, measure Periscope value, Meerkat value, live streaming value uh, with, um, I give it a lot of consideration. I put a lot of weight on Periscope and Meerkat and live streaming. The ROI is difficult to, to determine, but what's the ROI of your mother, right? I mean, it's this is real. And anytime you can become a media company, with your smartphone on the go, I think there's power in that. There's a long-term play with Periscope. But let's go back to these five tips. Uh, tip number one, you're welcome. And yes, we are a law firm. Tip number one is provide your new clients with priority access. We do a, a, a priority phone number. When that thing lights up, we know it's a client. Bam, it gets answered and serviced immediately. Some of my clients get my private cell phone number. I've got more than one cell phone number. Uh, the one that's associated with me in the law firm uh, on the larger cases, on cases where uh, additional hand holdings necessary, they get my private number. They can reach me 24-7. I may not answer the phone, but I'll make sure I listen to the message and get back to them if it's appropriate. So the first tip is give your new clients and new customers priority access to you or to your company. Um, number two, Provide clients with quick service. Whatever you do for a living, whatever your product, whatever your service, make sure that you've structured your business in a way where you can act quickly and you can provide quick service, fast solutions, quick, helpful responses to their questions. Time is an asset that all, that all of us get limited time. We're all bombarded during the day with so much information. And if you can create a product or service and save your clients time, get the job done for them quickly, they're going to appreciate that, thanks for the hearts. And they're going to share your name, your service, your company with their family and friends. So make sure you've got systems set up so that once you're hired, you can provide your service, you can share your product in a fast, timely, efficient manner so that you can solve their problems quickly. Number three, when we write articles, when we write blog posts, when we have the opportunity to include a client with their permission into something that we're putting out on the internet, we do so. We reach out to a client and we'll talk to them about um, including their name, their company, maybe an interview, maybe it's a written interview, a telephone interview through a podcast, maybe it's a video interview of our client of how they're doing something or how their product or service is helping the community or helping the world for that matter. And we try to include our clients 
into our overall relationship building plan. Clients really like this. We go out of our way to link back to client websites, to share client contact information. And this third tip has been one where the clients have actually gone out of their way to say how much they appreciate the fact that we thought about them and we included them in our song, in our message um, under appropriate circumstances. Number four, we always invite new clients to contact us 24-7. Contact us with any questions. Really go out of your way to let them know that it's completely okay for them to, to reach out to you at 11 at night if there's an emergency. Now, we're lawyers and people have legal emergencies 24-7. Doctors, dentists, uh, you have the same challenges and the same issues. The way we handle this is we go with a 24-hour live call center. So regardless of what time you call our firm, you will be speaking with a live operator that's been trained to deal with your incoming call. If it's the type of call that, that needs to be connected, that can't be handled. In other words, a lot of times people will call and uh, after speaking with someone, they'll relax, they can wait until the next morning for a return phone call. If it's an emergency, then our service knows how to get a hold of either me or one of the other lawyers or assistants in the law firm to take care of the problem. But the point is, is to always be set up in a way and encourage your clients to contact you when it's convenient for them. That's huge. The fifth tip, and I've got plenty of them, but the fifth tip I'm gonna to share today is to treat every client like he or she is the most important client in your law firm, in your company, in your business, whatever you're doing, whether you're an online business or an offline business, treat your client like he or she is the most important person. If someone's sitting in front of me and they have a small case and I've got 10 big cases on my desk, the person that's sitting across from me, I want him or her to feel as though, and in my heart, I want to, I want to feel as though that's the most important thing that's happening right now in my life at my law firm. These five tips are tips that you can take to the bank. Do these five things. Teach your staff, your employees, your partners to do these five things and your, your customer or client loyalty will shoot through the roof and uh, I think you'll find that uh, a day in the office will be much more rewarding than uh, the alternative. So I hope you found these five tips to building long-term client loyalty, servicing your client correctly, beneficial. I'll be sharing this Periscope at streaminglawyer.com. At streaminglawyer.com, I'm sharing tips on communication. I'm sharing tips for young lawyers on how to try cases. I'm sharing tips on how to use streaming apps, live streaming apps, platforms like this, like Meerkat, uh, Spreecast, Google Hangouts on Air, um, Hang With, Stringwire, in your business, and uh, just other things that interest me. Some of them have nothing to do with practicing law, but you know what, that's what keeps the day interesting. Thanks for stopping by everybody. My name is Mitch Jackson. You can connect with me at Mitch Jackson on Twitter, and I'll see you at streaminglawyer.com. Thanks for the hearts and thanks for sharing. Bye-bye, everybody.